Ahlan wa sahlan dear students So Alhamdulillah we finished the main app and this is what we should have where when when the app start it loads the weather for San Francisco and we can search here any city and if we search a city that doesn't exist in the API it like a man to give us error tamam this is working right now just to give you a quick recap when I start here here inside the terminal I have my weather app open okay and then I make sure that in the terminal I am inside this folder the weather folder for the project and then I do expo start when I do expo start it will open the browser and start the expo CLI and then what I do on the Mac is I do run on iOS simulator it will open the iOS and then run the app here but you can also um, open on uh, your, you can open your account on your phone and then you will actually if you have Android you can scan the QR code or you will see it in your list of projects if it's your on iOS and then you can open it there so we can minimize this window we don't need it now unless we need to debug what we're gonna do now is we need to add the location detection so that instead of loading uh, hide this window here instead of loading at the beginning instead of loading the San Francisco, San Francisco weather we are going to detect the location and then we're going to use that detection to get the weather for that location so let's do that um, as we said before we needed to get the uh, we need to use the expo location um, the expo location which I had shown you before I'll just quickly open the browser to recap so it's expo location and this is it here this component is what we need to use so we are going to get the current position async from the location component okay so first we need to import these from expo we'll do that here and then we are going to add in component did mount which is the first uh, uh, function uh, that loads when the app starts we're going to add a function here that gets the location so let me call this function and we're not gonna do gonna comment this handle update location here and I call it this handle get location okay and there's no variables that we pass through there and in this handle get location function it's going to be an async function because it needs to go and get data from outside okay it's going to we're gonna take a constant first we need to 
get the status of permissions whether we are allowed to use location in this app so it's going to be await permissions which will be important imported up uh, there we imported permissions and we're gonna ask async and then permissions dot location this is a constant and we're gonna check the value of that status now the reason why you may ask is why do I make this status in brackets right why do that make, make uh, this status in brackets because normally when you, we define a, a variable we don't need to put brackets we just define it as the name of the variable there's a reason for that so let me just finish this here actually uh, even before we finish this I'm going to show you um, let's actually not do this initially just want to show you why we do this and then console.log status this is just a normal variable I'm gonna console.log and I'll output the screen and right so let me let us see here look when I do this it got status and it's awaiting and it ran it and then after it output it to the screen the status which is what returns from this if you look here this is the object that's returned from this function and the object is uh, has the following keys expires iOS status and for each the value values here now because now we know the structure of this and we actually don't want the whole object we want only the key status right because we want only status the key status that's why we do this when we do this what it's doing it's telling it that the ob what the result of this is going to be an object don't take don't don't use the whole object i just want the key status from that object right and I now do this you see now because I only want the key status and look what's returned now only what's returned is the value of the status key right so that's the nice thing about this so that we then we don't have to do st uh, status dot status rather we are just doing using directly status so status is not equal to granted right then we'll do set dot set state <clears throat> we'll just make it an error true see remember well we have an error here already in our state and we'll set it as true if it's not granted otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to after that get the location since we have the permissions we're going to cause this uh, GPS location and then we're going to await location which we imported here 
dot get current position async and uh, we're just gonna pass an empty object we just we're not gonna get uh, send any options now this GPS lock here is the value that's going to be written for the location okay the object basically if you right so here await get and then we store that in a variable now the main question is here do we need to save this in the state this is always one of the important questions because as much as possible you don't want to save everything in the state you only want to save important things that you really need in the state otherwise your app will start use too much memory so if we think about it um, the only time that we need to store the location is when we need to send it to the weather we don't really need it outside of that so maybe it doesn't seem important to store it in the state so uh, let's just so to make sure everything is working fine keep doing the console log to see whether this value now is returned let's save this here you go so now I've done this get the location it's returning the object with these values right and uh, so if we actually wanted here we could just get these coordinates values so for example what we may need to do based on our previous thing if we only wanted to return the key codes right we would do this right and let's see if that works there you go now we only return the key codes from the object right the coordinates and if we wanted to uh, let's just leave it like that because we may need some of these other values here so what we need to do now is we need to pass these values to a function that will now get the weather for those coordinates so we're gonna create a new function right and uh, let's call it handle update GPS and then we're gonna send to it these coordinates Okay, so now we need to write this function. We're gonna write it here. Handle GPS location, and again, uh, what do you think? Should it be a async? Or should it be a normal function again here handle update GPS it's going to get the API it's going to connect with the API so then it should be async okay so let's pass these coordinates right we're gonna pass the coordinates and our function so first thing we want to do is we want to make sure coordinates has a value so if not coords 
then just exit out of a function we need these values and then just like our previous uh, handle update we're gonna do almost the same thing in terms of structure we're gonna set the state to true loading because now we're gonna show the loading bar loading dial when it's going to get the uh, when it's going to get the uh, weather so let's just actually to make it simple copy and paste this uh, and then we're gonna try of course here we don't need the location ID and the location weather we actually need to replace it with uh, we need to replace it with the other API that that's better in finding the city so let's uh, let's do that first so in here this is using the first API we need to write another one that gets the actual you know weather from the open weather so let's basically first um, export we just since we're gonna have a similar structure let's just copy and paste that whole function we'll call fetch fetch uh, let's call it fetch open weather GPS and we're gonna pass through it coordinates and then um, here um, as you remember this has this is the actual main API link just review it to make sure we remember so okay here API doc that so this is what we do if we want to get from the city name but for the coordinates we need to do this okay so we're gonna copy this put it here But instead of putting the values static, we take it from the variables. And the variables will come from these coordinates value. So this converts it to string. And then we're going to say coordinates dot latitude. Latitude and same here we need to convert this to string also and it's going to be longitude and also we need to pass our app ID and make sure that the units are metric because we are displaying in degrees centigrade uh, <clears throat> so that's this okay and uh, the rest should be uh, the same and actually I Yes, I only because this one is this was from the other API. The second API returns in a slightly different way. The open API. So 
what I did here is this these are free of the keys in the object JSON object that's returned from this API and these are the values I need and I pass in this sending this back to the function as location weather and temperature and uh, this is it so I want to take this and I want to use it in my handle uh, GPS here so constant I'm gonna return location weather temperature and it's going to await my fetch open so yes but one thing we shouldn't forget I will pass it the coordinates right we'll patch the coordinates we don't need these two now but what we need to make sure is what we have imported this did we import this yes we did import it here uh, open weather GPS okay so right so let's do something uh, here let's see whether it's returning let's return response here let's console dot log of response to see whether it's returning me the weather okay response respond it returns something now let's did it return it says nothing to geocode let's see it says nothing to geocode that seems to be a problem let's see what's being uh, sent to it let's return the coordinate values here and actually we're going to um, console our app latitude and longitude so seems to be fine here right um, seems that oh, okay yes I did make a syntax mistake you see this the when I pass the string yes of course I need to pass it because this is a variable I need to pass it with curly brackets yes there you go look at that what happened let's see the return so it sent these two because we passed the coordinates here 
we pass the coordinate at latitude to lat equal to that and we put the coordinates dot longitude to long equal to that and then we send and then this console dot response it responded here you go we ponder the weather for this and look the weather it returned it returned for name san francisco why we were in amman but it reaches san francisco it's because the uh, ios the default location in my ios simulator is san francisco so that's why and i think i can um, Uh, I, I can change it but that's not important right now what for you for on your side what you will need to do especially if you're using the snack expo snack it will not show anything because the expo snack in the browser doesn't have a GPS uh, chip so you will need if you want to see it get coordinates you will need to do this I preview this on your device right so so basically here here we go so we took the value return which turned it to the weather right and so let's just do a quick review of what we did here is we took this location and then the weather and then we sent these values as before to our local state and uh, to our sorry to our component or app.js state so that's uh, regarding this and everything seems to be working the image is not working because you see that the state of the is clouds and if we look in our assets sorry in our uh, utils there's actually n there's cloud not clouds so if we want to do that we just need to copy this here and make one under the one called clouds and that should work right so that's easy um so now let's see whether our search will work london our search keep loading oh and it worked loading and then it got the weather for london a man a man could not load weather why okay let's look at what happens here when we do a search it goes handle update location right handle update location we're not doing it on load here so we can remove that but this is a function for the handle update location is here look in the handle update location we are still using the old API which just doesn't have values for all cities so the last thing we need to do is add in our API one more here for the city uh, using the open weather API for the city this is what we're going to do um, I already kind of wrote it before just gonna paste it here so fetch open weather api city is exactly the same doing everything the same but the only difference is instead of coordinates here we are passing city name and then of course when we call the api instead of passing lat and long we pass just q equal to and then city name if you remember we had looked at this earlier right if we want to pass search city name we just do q equal name of city right so that's it here for this api uh, for getting weather from the open weather 
through city but then we of course we are going to so rather than uh, same to what how we did it here so we don't want now using the fetch location ID and fetch weather API we're going to remove this but we just want to fetch open weather city but it's okay here and then did it import it for us great this is a nice thing here it when you says it says auto import and then it imports it as I use it so I'm uh, gonna use fetch open weather city but now I don't want codes I want city name to pass here and then the rest should be the same we just save that okay let's do a man now okay that didn't seem to work or maybe we didn't save the API that's right let's do here you go and of course we don't have missed as as the reason why the image doesn't show there because there isn't missed here okay so that's basically it uh, uh, for finding the weather with the GPS coordinates uh, small uh, additional um, step I want you guys to add is um, if you can add a small button or um, image most like more better to be a button refresh button something other when you click on it or something that says load current weather when you click on it it will load the weather again of the local locations because for example let's say right now I put a man uh, but I want to load again the, the weather for the current location I cannot do it so I want you to add a button that says get local or weather and then click on it it will go and uh, again uh, launch this function uh, sorry it will go it should go and get the location again function and then uh, get the GPS uh, weather alright so let me know if you have any questions